After a long vacation break, today we start a new series around Spring Boot 3. In this new video we start with an intro about WebSockets in Spring Boot. We start the series with a simple Spring Boot WebSocket server and we'll test it with Postman. We start as usual in Eclipse with a new Spring Boot project. With the following dependencies. Spring Boot Starter Version 3.1.3 Java Version 17 Spring Boot Starter WebSocket and Lombok The first class is the default main class. The WebSocket config class with the configuration and the enable WebSocket annotations. Here we implement the WebSocket configurer interface and override register WebSocket handlers where we configure the WebSocket endpoint and the WebSocket handler bean. The last class is the tutorial handler here we implement the WebSocket handler interface and override. After connection established, handle message, handle transport error, after connection closed, and finally supports partial messages. There is one method here that is important handle message. Here we receive a message from the tutorial endpoint, modify it and send it back twice with a pause of one second. We can now start the project and test it with Postman. After starting the project in Eclipse, we can test it in Postman. First we connect to localhost 8080 and the endpoint tutorial we configured in the code. We now click connect and see the response from the WebSocket server. Now we can send a message and see what the response is. We get the two expected responses with a pause between them of one second. This was it for part one. Tomorrow we will continue with the second part of Spring Boot WebSockets. We will then continue with SockJS and Stomp. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for following our channel.